Yeah, 114 damage. If you have like 20% with a 45 damage falchion and like a two weapon Castilian, you can do 100 plus. What's crazy is the move speed though. So like we're we're 99 move speed with our weapons out. If you sprint, literally full sprinting. This is full 115%. That's why sprint is so bis. This is why with this amount of move speed, I want to change out my perk for adrenaline rush. <laughs> I wonder how low he is. Well, now there's two people. Oh yeah, getting double teamed. Maybe not, maybe not. Let's heal up a bit. Okay, this rogue could th third wheel could be could get pretty bad. Definitely don't want to lose this kit right away. Okay, be careful because there's a rogue. I would say just leave the body there and go ahead and just second wind up. Wait, no, we're good. I don't see any symbol on my uh, on my screen, so I'm going to get... Oh, there he is. Okay, there's another person. I think we leave both those bodies there. We go back for them. Painted fabric. Maybe we can get our meds back. Campfire back. Lockpick. Move speed. Armor rating. This guy was fairly bissed. Fairly. 45 damage. Oh, that's a good falchion, dude. That's not bad. 45 damage with damage bonus and max health. We're probably gonna have to drop it though.
Gingerbread. Those are always fun to have. Pad a tunic. Health bonus is mid. Strength and health bonus lately has been mid. 163 points for three kills. But let's be real, this should be a little more, right? Uh, let's see, our treasure, 15. Okay, the treasure, most of it came from the treasure, 461. Three vigor, three physical power. We replace. Okay, we could do four physical damage bonus. It depends on our damage bonus. Let's experiment. 4.8 damage bonus with one move speed, dude. Let's see how high we can get a damage bonus. We might replace it with Vigor if we do need more HP. This is pretty sick right here. I took a lot of your guys' advice. People were telling me to do laced churn shoes. Let's see what our best options are here in terms of move speed. So 102, 107, 106, 106, 107, 107.8. Okay, what's this? 107.2. This is our best one here. 107.8. Okay, let's see. 1.2%. So this is a four physical power bonus. I think we take this one over the Vigor. Does this boost us up to uh, 19%? Okay, what are our best trousers here? 107.8. 108.2. Okay. 107.8. Yeah, so both these are 107.8. This is 108.2. Three AG, five additional move speed. Three Vigor. And 0.8% move speed. This one, two vigor, 0.7 move speed, 108%. This is sick. Do three agi, 1.2 move speed, and, and then action speed. Or this. Actually, I think I take this since our damage is pretty low. Three agi, 1.1 move speed, and the rest are damage bonus. 110.2. Uh, how much HP? 129 HP. I think we could take a vigor cloak here. This one. 18 power bonus. 110.2, 111.5, or damage bonus. Probably damage bonus. If I do damage bonus, it brings us up to 20% with 46 damage over the HP. And let's see what kind of daggers we have here. Two weapon damage. And we also even have more damage bonus here, okay? I think this makes up for the damage bonus. 45, oh, 47 damage, 47 damage, 46 damage. Let's do 47 damage with 4% damage bonus. Sick. Oh, oh attributes too bigger. Health bonus.
Max. Yeah. Nice gloves. Three physical power. I need some more meds. Additional move speed. I like it. Very good. Need one more bandage. Yeah, times three. Lock picks. The exchange of this, that. Five fifty. Okay, that's that's decent. Four kills should be a lot more. Come on, monster kill seventeen. Uh, props interaction thirty four. Oh, I didn't see the rest. Yeah, you noob, learn hell. Yeah, dude, it's coming. Um, I'm watch. I'm already watching some videos on it, and I'm um, checking it out. It's like imagine if I take this bis kit into hell. I'm just gonna lose it. Set aside like some time to actually go and do it. Cause it, cause at this point we're only getting. We did all that. We got an inventory full of treasure. We killed four people. And we opened so many portals, we only got 500 points. So it, it, it's time to to start learning hell. Otherwise, this process is going to be so slow. As soon as I hit Demigod, I don't know if there's a Demigod 1, 2, and 3. Or a 3, 2, and 1. But once I'm in Demigod, I, I don't think I'm going to push it further. I'm just going to get to like 2,000 points in Demigod. And then keep PvPing. And then I'll die. And then lose like 600 points. But I'm going to stay in Demigod. Just in the same way that I'm staying in Exemplar 3 right now. It's kind of fun to kill players and take their treasure. You know, like you let them loot it all, and then you just kill them and take your treasure. You get to hear some whining. You get to hear some uh, emotional trauma on their end. You started killing barbs with the tips. Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, it really works. I mean, it, the the best way to kill a barbarian is to have more move speed than him. Number one. Number two. As soon as he uses rage, you got to use sprint. Unless you have a ridiculous amount of move speed and you can kind of run around like some sort of wall until his rage runs out. If his rage runs out and you still have sprint, you have a huge advantage. Because while you're running away, he's going to be tempted to put his weapons away. You do a quick turnaround, you hit him twice, he jumps back, take out your Francesca's, chuck it at him, and he's dead. <laughs> But I got some comments in my YouTube video. People were telling me the way that I play is like, they, they're telling me that I'm a pussy for the way that I play for running away a lot. In my opinion, I think that's how you have to play Slayer Fighter now. Because Slayer Fighter gets one tapped by a geared barb, no matter what. Like if a geared barb hits me once with his Vihander, I am dead. In the same way that a geared barb hits a rogue. The way you play fighter is you utilize your jack of all trades. You utilize your crossbow, you utilize your movement speed, you utilize your Francesca axes, and you utilize your, your weapon damage. But, you know, to say I'm a pussy for kiting a barb and getting his, you know, his HP down, like by using what I am supposed to be using for my class, 
That dude doesn't know what he's talking about. Running away is a strategy. Sometimes I run away and people like really are like shit talking. And in my mind, like I'm actually laughing because it's just like, dude, this is what you would do if you were in a survival of the fittest situation. Oh, uh, yes, I did watch some videos. So I'm, I'm preparing for it. That's for sure. In ruins, I'm realizing, yeah, you have to go to hell. Especially the higher ranks, because it's it's such a grind without it. I recently watched the video, I think Ryan six days a week. I watched his video on how to uh, dodge all the bombs. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, practice. Okay, you want to pick your fight wisely here, because those two guys could be teaming. Unless he's chasing him. If he's chasing him, then we're going to third wheel. Okay, we opened the portal for points. I think we try to kill this guy. But there is the guy below. So maybe we wait for them to fight. Let's see what he does. He's healing. Perhaps he's low. Okay, the dude below is... That guy's dead. There's one more. Let's get his treasure. Oh, the lag. I think we do it. Yeah, 313, that was worth it. That fight between me and that barb was so laggy. The best solo class. Hard to say. There's a lot of really good solo classes if you know how to use them. Like, uh, I would say if you tried Slayer Fighter and you're not really experienced, you're, you might not have the best time. If Slayer Fighter requires, like, a lot of kiting. Warlock is really good. It depends. I think every class is really good if you know how to play them well. I know that's kind of like a, a lame answer, but in a way, it's kind of true. I've seen some insane bards, insane barbarians, crazy wizards, crazy warlocks, all solo. It just really depends on how you play. See who's up here. Right above us. There we go. We got a surgical kit back. Please be eye pestilence. Please be eye pestilence. I finally got my revenge. This dude is bis always, dude. Finally got my revenge on eye pestilence. The amount of times he's killed me, the amount of times this dude has killed me, bro. You wouldn't believe. He is in the, the best warlock I have ever seen in this game. It's literally like one to eight. He's killed me eight times. I've, this is my first time killing him. 